to the channel, uh, Adventures in Rod Building. In this episode, which is uh, episode number 11, I will be going through uh, the steps that I do to prepare a rod guide to be applied to the rod. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Okay, so you see here in, in the video that I have my fly tying vise that I'm using as a as a voice for my guide itself to be able to uh, sand down the the guide feet so it's it's a smoother transition when I go to wrap the thread. Uh, you see, I'm using the Dremel tool. It's it's a lot a lot easier to use than just using sandpaper because uh, with the sandpaper it takes a substantial amount of time compared to just using this. Uh, I just have to be careful that when you're sanding that the um, sparks may fly uh, when I was doing this one it wasn't so bad it's just every once in a while it would happen um, but this is the one of the sanding discs that comes with the, the Dremel tool that I got and it seemed to work out pretty well uh, what I'm doing is I'm just trying to ramp up the the front end of of the guide foot here uh, just trying to get it so it's a smoother transition instead of just a blunt end because it makes it tougher to uh, to actually put on the thread when you're wrapping it that way uh, so now I'm just gonna what I'm doing is I'm just taking it out of the vise and then checking against the the rod blank which unfortunately is, is gonna be out of the picture so I can't not not very well so um, uh, try to do a little bit better with that next time so now I'm just trying to set it up again so I can do the bottom of the of the guide feet uh, they tend to uh, whether way, way they usually come isn't very isn't the best <laughs> let's just put it that way um, so I'm just trying to finish everything up here This is when I start going to the bottom of the guide feet, trying to flatten them out a little bit so they don't have a, so it actually sits a little bit better. Um, it, they tend to be concave, but sometimes that doesn't really work out very well. So I, I like to flatten them out as much as I can. And here I'm trying to check it on the guide again. It's not quite right, so then I put it back into the vise. Uh, eventually, because this, uh, I'm not doing so hot here, uh, the voice doesn't really want to work as well as I had hoped. Um, so now I'm coming back to the front of the of the guide foot. You notice that it has a, a 40 on there. That's the size of the of the guide itself. This is actually my uh, my first guide that's going to be on the rod. Um, I don't know, maybe we'll go in, into guide sizes at a different time. On, in a different video maybe yeah, we'll go from see what we got going on there so um, now I'm just trying to do the same thing again just checking the checking the um, bottom of the, the guide feet showing them to the camera just to show you what I've done so far um, I'm not really sure what I'm doing alright so then we put it down and that's pretty much it so, um, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully you found this helpful. Uh, what I plan on doing is I'm going to start trying to do videos more regularly here. Uh, probably one every week or so. Uh, I have a, a couple of videos I need to get through and edit. And hopefully it will be something you guys want to check out. Alright, well, thanks for checking out this latest episode. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Alright, thanks.